Loggers, Brews and Reviews. Hey, this is Homa from PA Loggers, Brews and Reviews. I'm here at Dorneyville Beverage, and this is just outside of Allentown, right next to Dorney Park. And it's not a real big operation like Tanzos and Changi's and things like that, but they have a great selection of craft beer and the owners are really nice. They help me out. They respond real quick on Facebook and they order things when they don't have it in stock. So they get me special stuff. So I like buying some beer here. We're going to check out some Fest beer from Sam Adams because they said they have it separate, not in the sweater variety pack. So we're going to go check it out. So that's Dorneyville Beverage in Dorneyville, PA. Here's our clearance section. And here's some seasonals, some German beers as you come in on the right side. Here's some of their PA varieties. I see Victory, Evil Genius, I see Cape May over there. They also have Workhorse and Wall and Paul Pack, which I like. They have local breweries like Funk, Inimaeus, I see Brew Daddies, there's New Trail, Levante that I'm seeing here on the shelf. And this is what I came for, the Sam Adams Fest beer in a six pack. Welcome to our special nighttime edition of our review of Sam Adams Fest beer. This is the one I got at Dorneyville Beverage. So we're gonna try this out. And just a couple things to point out. I know it's not a Pennsylvania beer, it's brewed in Pennsylvania, I think. There's a brewery in Fogosville, PA. It used to be the Schaefer Brewery, then the Stroh Brewery, and then something else. And now they make Sam Adams products there. I think seltzers as well. But uh, this is a great Fest beer that I wanted to share with you on this review. Now, let me also point out that a Fest beer is later than an October Fest beer. You might see October Fest beers. You might see Marzins. You might see Fest beers. A lot of breweries are putting out both a Fest beer and an October Fest beer, as is Sam Adams. They have an October Fest. But the Fest beer is a little bit lighter. It's more of a lager with kind of a sweet taste to it. It's malty. It's not as syrupy and caramely and toffee-like or as roasty as an Oktoberfest might be that you might see on, on shelves in the fall or actually starting in August now uh, as far as other Oktoberfest beers. So Fest beer is a little bit lighter. It's the kind they would drink in Munich at the actual Oktoberfest because it's lighter and they could drink more of it. It's more of a quaffable or chuggable or session type beer. And that's what I'm gonna have now. This was in the sweater variety pack last fall and it was in a can and they had Boston Lager, Jacko Pumpkin, which I didn't really like as much because it was too cinnamony. They had the Oktoberfest and they had the Fest beer and it was a surprise favorite out of that variety pack. Unfortunately, there was only three in a 12 pack and I couldn't give away the Jacko Pumpkin, so I didn't have much of the Fest beers, but this year they put the Fest beer in bottles. They're in six packs and cases, I guess for a short time. So it's a great time to try it out. It's a really good Fest beer to try out and Let's pour it and see what it looks like. It should be a little lighter than the Oktoberfest, which is a little more coppery. And I'm gonna try to get like a nice little quarter inch head on there, half an inch. This is a little, little more active because I was moving around, bringing it outside. So now it's about an inch and it does dissipate fairly quickly. So don't wait too long, start chugging it down. <laughs> <laughs> but it does have kind of a lighter color. I know it's harder to see outside behind my black shirt, but it's a little more golden color. It's a little more lighter. It's not cloudy at all. Uh, but you can see the heads dissipating very quickly. So it's time to start drinking it. Let's try it out, see if we can get some aroma. And it has a little bit of a sweet aroma. Not a lot. It's not really yeasty or anything like that. A little malty on the palate initially, and then the finish, you get a little bit of alcohol. It's 5.8 ABV, so there is a little alcohol kick to it, and it's a little sweeter at the end. It has a honey finish to it, kind of a sweet honey finish. I've even seen people complain that it's too sweet, but if it wasn't sweet, it would just taste like a lager, so at least it's something a little bit special. But I, I like this Fest beer. It's really nice, a little malty, a little sweet on the finish. It goes down really easy, has a little bit more alcohol, 5.8, than a typical lager and it's really nice to drink. You could drink a couple of these, maybe start with this and then move on to the Oktoberfest. I like to go with lighter beers first, then darker beers. So this is really nice. Goes down really quickly. And again, a little bit of an alcohol kick. So, you know, three or four of these and you could be slurring in no time. So, so be careful with these. But um, I think I gave this a 4.25, maybe a four on untapped last season, last fall. 
and I'd probably stay around that same place. I don't know if I'd give it a 4 or 4.25. Either way, it's a solid fest beer. I really enjoy it. It's nice to try out for the season. I don't know if I'd get a case of it, but having a six pack around is nice. I'll certainly finish those off very quickly. So that's Sam Adams Fest Beer. If you try it out, if you want to leave me a comment, or I'm going to start a Facebook page for this stuff too so people can interact so I can have some beer friends to talk about beer with so I don't have to just go up to random people at breweries like I do and start talking about beers. So anyway, it's Sam Adams Fest Beer. Other varieties that may be similar to this is Wall and Paul Pack Fest Beer. They have a Fest Beer and an Oktoberfest. Penn Brewery has their Oktoberfest, which is actually more of a fest beer, and they also have a Marzen or Merzen. I'll do a review of that a little bit later as well. So that's Sam Adams Fest Beer. Thanks for watching. PA Loggers, Brews and Reviews. And check out over 200 reviews at my untapped profile at RMHOMA. That's a nice pills.